Hey everyone, Chang here and welcome to my channel. Now in a previous video, I mentioned that I want to use exponents to explain certain life situations that you normally wouldn't attribute to exponents. Now, in the preview, I mentioned that I want to start off with something as simple as a pyramid scheme. Now, am I an expert in pyramid schemes? No, I'm not. There's a ton of nuances, a ton of extra details that makes it a lot more complicated in the real world when you encounter it. Now, However, each and every one of those pyramid schemes are based on a foundation, fundamental principles. And just by knowing and understanding and breaking down the fundamental principles, you can see why most, if not all, pyramid scheme is going to bound to collapse. The other thing is that because it collapsed and the fact that you are sort of recruiting from your inner circle, your friends, your family, your cousins, whatsoever, most of the times, you're probably going to screw up those relationships, if not lose your monetary value. It's just a no-win situation for a good majority of you guys. The top people who started it probably have a lot to gain from it. So you got to be very careful on pyramid schemes. So let's just talk about it. I'm not going to introduce all the nuance, all the details, because I don't understand it completely. But just from exponents, you can see why it just doesn't work. Let's just start off with the bare basics. Single person is going to start the pyramid scheme. Most of the time, it's probably not a single person. But let's just imagine it's a single person who starts the pyramid scheme. And normally, you would need to recruit new members. That's how the pyramid schemes keep going, right? Let's say the bare minimum, you need to recruit two new members, right? It makes no sense to recruit one more, even though one more is okay. But if you just recruit one more, it's probably uh, not going to grow as fast as they would hope. So they'll probably require you to recruit two minimum, right? And if it's three or four, of course, it grows faster, but then it's more likely to collapse. So single person starts it. All of a sudden, they need to recruit two new members. Fairly simple. Off the top of our head, we can actually think of two people we know that we could just immediately recruit, right? If we were in that situation, I'm not saying do it, right? I actually would strongly advise against it. So two new people, not too bad. All of a sudden, these two new people need to recruit another two. So that's a total of four new people in the round. Now keep in mind, the key word is new. You can't recruit people who are already in the pyramid scheme. So you always have to bring in new members. Four, not so bad. The next round, each of those have to recruit two, so that's eight, okay? And then all of a sudden we realize this is exponent. The next round, you need 16 new members. That's not that terrible, but it's starting to see, become a little more difficult. Next round, 32. Next round, 64. And then you keep going, right? By round 10, that's 1,024. Okay? All of a sudden, think about it. 1,024 new members you need into this pyramid scheme, ignoring the fact that there's a bunch in the previous rounds that are already part of it. And all of a sudden, it starts getting astronomically complicated, right? Because every time it's still doubling, right? By the 11th round, this doubles. 2,048 new members. Just looking at these two rounds itself, all of a sudden within these two rounds, you had 3,000 plus new people in the pyramid scheme. Now, that's actually kind of scary. If you start thinking about it. And the next one, right? 4,000 and what? 96? Add those guys together. All of a sudden, you're almost close to 10,000 if you add, you know, going all the way back, of course, more than 10,000. So you can sort of see why eventually it's not feasible. Now, let's just add another factor that most likely will get you screwed. So remember that it is not just introducing new member, which as we can see, eventually collapsed pretty quickly. I can't imagine this going past round 20 because round 20 is like a million something in addition to everything else previously. So <laughs> truly think about it. Now, in order to see your return of investment, right, you have to fall into a specific category. So in the pyramid scheme, most likely if they are charitable, I don't know if that's the correct word, but let's just say they are charitable, right? You have to skip at least one round before you finally get some investment back. So you would need these guys to complete before these guys would get their money back. And all of a sudden you would need a group of these guys down here to complete for these guys to get their money back. Okay. Now here's my question to you and you guys ought to really think about it, right? Most of the time, the pyramid scheme, you're not this guy. You're most likely not this guy or this guy either. 
you heard it from a friend of a friend and in order for you to believe it, you probably heard it from two, three, or four other friends, families, relatives, right? Two, three, four others. If you're lucky, they're all in the same tier. If you're not lucky, you know, as you keep further and further and further and all of a sudden you're sucked in. By the time you're here, or let's just say you're here, right? And you need this many new members before you finally get your money back. What are the chances of that? So just like that, from simple explanation of exponent and understanding like different tiers of when you would get your money back, you can see why most of the time, if not all the time, a majority of the people are screwed. The only people who probably benefit or most likely benefit a lot is probably from the first three, four or five tiers. And the chances of you being in the first three, four, five tiers, if the pyramid scheme grows big enough, is astronomically slim. So I would say your chances of winning a lottery is a lot better than hoping to truly earn and truly gain from participating in a pyramid scheme. Now, once again, it's entirely up to you. Just understand that you are risking your money and your relationships in a not so great bet. So there you have it, something very simple explaining exponents with the fundamental concept of pyramid scheme. I will come back in the next video with hopefully something a little different and enjoyable. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.